Hey everyone, just uh, Mike checking in uh, to give an update on Sky Rizzy. I'm uh, on month, I'd say five, six, somewhere around there at this point. I've had a maintenance dose maybe a month and a half ago approximately, and I'm happy to report that I still have clear skin. Um, I have no lesions on my stomach, um, none on my elbows, my legs completely clear. Um, Tattoos look great now, so um, very satisfied with the clearance I've achieved on Sky Rizzy. Um, probably didn't mention this before, but I have been on a total of five biologics now that have become ineffective within anywhere between one to six months. Um, also, multiple systematics have failed on me, methotrexate, cyclosporine, zoriotane, um, and then there's UVB and PUVA, uh, PUVA. Those all failed on me as well. So I've been through the ringer with this autoimmune disease. It's terrible. It's not fun to deal with. But this drug, I feel like I finally uh, am achieving sustained remission. Not only that, um, from taking all these biologics, I seem to get uh, some minor side effects before the maintenance dosing, which I think is my body flushing the drug a little earlier than expected. And with all the other biologics, so I, I've taken Enbrel, Humira, Remicade, Stellara, and Cosentex. Every single biologic out of those five, I would get a few lesions before the maintenance dosing, and then I would usually have some flushing symptoms, like sometimes a little bit of chest pain, fatigue, um, dry cough, depression, mood swings, a lot of weird stuff that, you know, doesn't really make sense, but you kind of, you kind of feel it, you know, that your body's getting rid of something. And uh, once once those side effects would subside, then I'd be due for my maintenance dose. I would get it. And then some of the lesions that would come back would clear. Other ones actually stuck around, unfortunately. And then the drugs, you know, the biologics would eventually just stop working completely, unfortunately. But uh, this guy, Rizzy, I mean, I felt it flush out of my system maybe a week or two before the maintenance dosing. Uh, so same side effects as the other drugs when, before they stopped working. And I did not get a single lesion. I'm still completely clear. Um, as far as uh, lifestyle goes, I don't follow any special paleo diet or anything like that. I eat whatever I want. I drink alcohol still every three to five days, unfortunately. But, you know, everybody has their habits. And uh, exercise, I mean, probably two to three times a week. Trying to work on that to uh, lose some weight. But, um you know, nothing, nothing fancy being done here and I'm still clear. So I'm very impressed with that. Um, side effect wise, um, my, I would say that my hair is coming out a little bit easier. That's happened on every single biologic and systematic. So I wouldn't really expect to dodge that side effect by changing your meds or taking something different. It's going to happen with, I think, any immunosuppressant. Um, I did get the flu once and fought it off within three to four days. Um, just had a fever for maybe 6 to 12 hours, um, nothing substantial. And I did use some vitamin C and garlic, so I kind of cheated a little bit, but that's a routine that I follow after being on all these immunosuppressants. Like I'm kind of paranoid of getting pneumonia, which I've also had that. I've also had, I think, COVID too last year while I was on Cozentex, unfortunately. So uh, I've been through the ringer with getting sick too, like these Drugs do lower your immune system and there's some risk with that. So it's either you get lucky and you stay in a bubble and you don't get sick ever. Or like me, I work in a call center. I'm always going places. I'm always interacting with the public at another job. So unfortunately, I seem to get sick no matter what, one to three times a year. It doesn't matter what med I'm on, treatment, no treatment, I still get sick. So um, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, oh yeah, the heart palpitations, um, I did mention that in some of the last videos. Uh, some good news there is I started those beta blockers and those heart palpitations uh, have become uh, very minimal at this point. Um, instead of, you know, 20 to 50 heart skips a day and an anxiety attack afterwards, I'm looking at maybe one per day, one every two, three days. So I don't know if the Sky Rizzy has controlled inflammation elsewhere to cut that down. 
but uh, I'm actually reporting that it uh, it has gotten quite a bit better. Now, when I did get my maintenance dosing, it did flare them up a little bit, but definitely not anywhere uh, as bad as what happened when I first got the drug, which did kind of scare me a little bit. But like I said, I, I've had that problem before Sky Rizzy, so I think there's something else going on that the doctors here just can't figure out yet. It could be a blocked artery, it could be a heart heart muscle problem, I don't know. But they're still trying to figure it out, so I'm just going to kind of sit tight on that. Um, I, I would say at this point, uh, I'm, I'm completely satisfied with the Sky Rizzy. Uh, you know, the benefits I'm getting from it definitely outweigh the risks. And, I mean, I, I can't say it's caused any serious problems as of yet, so I'm going to continue... Uh, my journey staying on Sky Rizzy and post some more videos in the future for you guys. But um, overall, happy with it. Achieving, you know, total clearance of psoriasis, not a single lesion. And even even before my maintenance dose, I'm staying clear. So fingers crossed. Hopefully this will uh, keep working for me. Anybody else, hopefully these videos will help them decide on uh, if they want to use Sky Rizzy or not. Um, and you know, I hope, I hope, I hope everybody's well, uh, everybody's safe, you know, uh, COVID's a real thing. So especially with, uh, us individuals where we could be more vulnerable, it's hard to say. The studies don't really say much as of yet, but, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, when I was on Cozentex, I went to a beach full of people and about seven days later, I spiked 104 fever, lost taste, smell, and then a week after that, I was in the hospital on my deathbed getting, uh, being given blood thinners, doctors doing 40 tests on me, not knowing what the heck was going on. So, I mean, COVID's real. Just be careful. Wear your mask. Don't touch your face after touching metal. And I'm sure we'll all get through this. And, of course, if, if you want to get the vaccine, go ahead and get it. I haven't got it as of yet because I think I already had COVID, but... They, uh, they may vaccinate, vaccinate me in the next month or so. And then what I'll probably do is post a video after that as well, because, uh, my dermatologist was mentioning that they don't have a lot of data on Sky Rizzy in any of the vaccines yet. Um, but I'm being told that Pfizer and Moderna are the two that seem to be the, the safest for somebody in a situation like me, where I've been on multiple biologics, immunosuppressants. I have probably multiple autoimmune problems going on too, for all I know. So I got to be really careful, but I'll post another video in a month. I'll try and get that vaccine. And if, I, if I'm if i fine after that, then hopefully that'll help anybody else out if they're on SkyRizzy or on another biologic and they just want to get vaccinated, right? I mean, you guys need to protect yourself. So uh, yeah, hope, it, hope everybody's well and uh, y'all have a good night and I'll, I'll post another video in the next month or so. Cheers.